Many of you will recognize exactly where I am. The historic Billings Depot is one of the city's most celebrated event venues. But imagine you're not from Billings or even Montana and you want to bring your event here, but you don't really know what the depot is all about. Well, these VR goggles now can put you right in the middle of it. You really get a sense of the size. You can look at photos of the depot online, but they're, they're kind of flat. This really gave us the opportunity to put someone in the depot completely immersed in the space. Once I adjusted the Oculus goggles to fit my larger than average head, there we go. I found myself in the depot passenger station with options to be able to see what different events would look like. So I see all of you know, these chairs for wedding receptions in here. I've been to several in here, so this looks very familiar. I then moved back through to the bigger baggage room, the typical reception space, where I could view more layouts for various events and celebrations. How do I place the tables? Where would the stage go if I'm having a meeting? Um, what about a dance floor if I'm having a wedding? So um, this gives us all of the flexibility we need. Anyone in the world with a headset can now put themselves in the Billings Depot. It gives the venue a much bigger audience, specifically for groups that can't send someone for a site visit. And they're not just confined to these walls. Last Chance Pub's in front of me, Poke. It was important not to include just the inside of the depot, but also showcase historic Montana Avenue, the walkability, the breweries that are around the nearby businesses. It really does help us with just kind of the whole overall visitor toolkit. Alex Tyson is pitching that toolkit all week at the conference as the Visit Billings Executive Director. While attendees are happy to put the pandemic behind them, the Treasure State did well during COVID, bringing in $3.14 billion from out-of-staters in 2020. In Billings, that's 2.6 million visitors and more than $621 million on impact. But not everyone is excited by the money. 56% of Montana residents say the state is becoming too overcrowded, according to the Institute for Tourism and Recreation's 2021 survey. It's the first time in the survey's 30-year history that number has been over 50. Emails, the phone calls, the text messages about, you know, over visitation and overcrowding and what's being done. You really don't have those conversations in Yellowstone County. In fact, Yellowstone County had the highest rate of residents, 88 percent, who appreciated the economic benefits tourism brings. We are ready for larger groups and larger crowds. I mean, look at Metro Park, look at all of the hotels we have, and that really positions Billings well for sports events growth, leisure growth, meetings, conventions growth. Growth you can see through a number of lenses. It's beautiful. You guys have done a wonderful job. Casey Conlon, MTN News.